Hey everyone, welcome to the next episode of the Multiplayer Heavy Earth tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering a round timer. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and come to our menu. Open our menu script. The very top, let's go using hash table equals exit games dot client dot photon dot hash table. Right, so using hash table exit games, client photon hash table. And let's come down to our create room. Let's go room options, room options, equals new room options. Oh, a, that's a fair few room options. Um, then let's go hash table options equals new hash table. Let's go options dot add time. Six hundred, which is just ten minutes. Let's go room options. Got custom room properties equals options. And we're just gonna pass that down here. So let's go room options. And that's all we need in the menu script. Uh, let's come into our development scene. Let's create a new canvas under our room object. Call it room canvas. Right click, create UI text. So call it to Y, make it bold. Send to the middle, top middle of the screen. Align to the center. And we'll just do that for now. Gorgeous. Timer text. Alright, gorgeous. Let's go ahead and open our manager script. Should we make a new script for it? Yeah, let's go ahead and make a new script. New C sharp script. Room timer. And let's drag it on our script object. Move it up. Let's go into it. At the top is go using hash table equals exagames dot client dot one sex on here we two sex. All right, and we're back. Um, it's supposed to be client dot photon dot hash table. All right, so in the update function, we're going to go float minutes equals math. F 
dot floor to int int photon network dot it help if we went using photon dot pun Photon network dot current room dot custom properties time slash sixty and float seconds is math f dot floor to in int first network dot current room dot custom properties time percent sign sixty and then we're gonna go using gimme engine dot UI Make a new variable called text time. We're gonna go time dot text the string dot format brackets Kelly brackets. Zero, zero, and Kelly brackets. This one does zero. Minutes, seconds. Gorgeous, and that should make it show in minutes and seconds. Gorgeous. Alright, so let's make a new boolean. Public bool count. Let's start, let's go count equals true just make a new int called next time so let's go if count count equals false start curating timer Move that in. Let's go public int time. <coughs> so I enumerator timer. Return you wait for seconds one. Let's go. In the update, let's go time equals in photon network dot current dot custom properties time. In here, let's go int 
So let's go down to here. Int equals int next time equals time minus equals one. Let's go exit games dot client dot photon dot hash table. Hash let's do it up here. Actually, I see where we went wrong there. Now that's that. Just spelled misspelled hash table. So we'll come down here. It's not being friendly. Stood up here. Set time equals new. Excuse our cloud of photon dot hash table. And down here, go set time dot add time next time. And we'll go photon network. So current room dot set custom properties set time save that oh then we're going to go count equals true Okay, I'm not sure, but that should hopefully work. Let's go to rooms, go to scripts. Room canvas will assign our timer. Time will automatically be changed, so that's all good. Let's give it a shot. What happened here? Object not sent. Object reference not set to an instance on an object. All right, let's try it again. But let's go through the create room method. Yeah, now it's working. Okay, it just went down one second and I had this work on my last project, so not exactly what. All right, so let's delete these two lines of code and go photon network dot current dot custom properties time equals next time. And we're also gonna have to add if Photon network dot 
is master client yeah save that I'm not sure if that'll work let's give it a shot Oh, I just got my working. Now let's just quickly check if it's working. If it's working for all clients. Nope, sadly it's not. Fuck, I hate that. Freak, I hate that when that happens. Alright, beautiful. Well, I will find a solution. I'll be back in the gym. Alright, let's give this a shot. Um. So, hash table calls set time. Okay, set time. Time equals next time. Photon network dot current dot set custom properties set time. Give that a crack. Okay, so it's working for that client. Let's see if it'll sync up. Create room. Gorgeous, got it working. All right, beautiful everyone. Thanks for tuning in. That's how you make a round timer. And I shall see you in the next episode. Bye.